welcome back to House of Cremel. And I am currently at a wonderful place called Chateau Alain. Also trying to decide if I'm gonna bring this hat or not. I'm thinking I'm going to take it off. But I'm here to meet a wonderful group of ladies for a wine tasting. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I don't know that I'm gonna do a lot of talking, but I'll do a lot of showing. So let's go. recording but we are leaving church we just bookie bears back there it, he's sleeping we're headed home now but we just left church uh, we all went together today to honor my grandfather's birthday as a part of the service I'm really thankful that the church allowed us to recognize him he's turning 90 in two days so um, my granddad is really committed to his church and I just thought we thought this was a good way to um, you know, honor his birthday. Um, other than that, my granddaddy be on the go. He don't like to sit nowhere too long and be look. He got he he got a lot to say, but he a man of few words. So it's <laughs> shout out to my wife for putting it all together. I I I don't want to take all the credit because a lot of things just kind of fell into place. Um, spearheaded. Yeah, and my grandmama knew the people to ask the you know, and then my family put together a nice contribution to in honor of my granddaddy's birthday. So. Um, shout out to all of them. It all worked out and I'm appreciative of everyone that um, made this moment and you know, and we also had a good time in worship at church today. So we are headed home. Um, time for Buki to go to sleep. I'm hoping, yeah, who did very well in church today. Very good. I didn't even have to take him out. What is he cute? This is cute face. <laughs> that's, that's your old boy. Okay. <laughs> That's my boy. Hey, I find one on one time. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Silly. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to head home and uh what was I about to say? Oh, put Boogie down for a nap. Hopefully he make he don't fall asleep before we get there, because that always mess up things. And uh then I'm gonna I need to clean up, but I don't know if I'm gonna start that yet because we need to eat a little bit. We had breakfast this morning, but it's after one now, and we need to eat a little lunch. So, oh, we got leftovers. All right, thank you. Never mind. <laughs> yep. So, we'll catch y'all when we get home. Sure. Yep. Hey, guys. All right. 
And my, let me push y'all back a little bit. We are back home and I am sitting in the middle of the floor right now because I want to show y'all some things. I guess it's a little bit of a mini haul. Um, me and Charles, I got a couple things to show y'all actually. Hmm. They are right here in the vicinity. But, oh, hold on. Okay, I'm back. Um, are we crooked? What's happening? Anyway, so on Friday afternoon, um, me and Charles went to, I wanted to go get some inspiration for home decor at Pottery Barn. And we also ended up going into Home Goods. And we found some um, pretty good finds in both. Um, not too much real light. And I also made a purchase at Amazon because I'm going to do a mini refresh in this room that we're in not too much but i'm just gonna kind of switch out some accents to be seasonally appropriate if you haven't noticed which you probably haven't because i kind of liked i like decorating the way i did during christmas but the, that white um pillow toss pillow has snowflakes on it <laughs> but you know it's kind of unless you're like looking at it really hard it's a tonal pillow so it's not noticeable right away and it's white and it's just kind of um yeah i guess you would call that flocked um but yeah so i wanted to switch that out to something that wasn't winter so that i could also pull those back out possibly when christmas comes which is less than six months away is it less than six months or more than six months <laughs> Because it's practically July, y'all. Almost, Almost six months away. We'll go, okay, because July, August, September, October, November, December. Well, the is the so it's six months away. <laughs> yeah. So we're like six months away from Christmas, and that's not that long. And I got some fall decor to think about in between, which I do have. We're just going to see how I... I may try to mix up what I have because I, I feel like I bought a lot of things. And I bought them in colors that I love, things I could switch out, take from, add back. So, you know, that's going to be here really soon. So, I need to go ahead and make a little quick change so that I can make another quick change later. Anyway, without further ado. So, first, the first things I got were from Amazon. These are the pillow covers that I'm switching out. Now, I bought these in, I wonder if you can see them. There we go. So this is a white pillowcase. It's the same way on both sides. A lot of times when I buy these pillowcases, um, they're just one-sided and I'm pretty sure that's to keep costs down or something like that. And I mean, you can only see one side at a time with a pillowcase, so I don't usually mind. But this is like one of my biggest hacks, if you will, on having more options for toss pillows or decorative pillows and being able to store. Because you can't, I mean, you can buy a bunch of pillows. And I do have quite a few. But I was like, where are these pillows going to go? Like, I don't have that much space in this house. And you definitely, if you do have a lot of space in the house, you don't want to, you know, take it up with a bunch of pillows. So, buying pillow covers, decorative covers, pillowcases, whatever you want to call them, is a good way to be able to switch out something for a lesser um, price point. And, you know, do it as often as you like. So, I got two of these. And this is for a size 20. Uh, this is 22 by 22. Another hack, if you do buy, because um, I do have some plain pillows that I just used to switch out. You buy your pillow covers a size down from the size pillow that you get. So, you can get that snug look. Otherwise, it's just going to look like you got a lot of room in the pillow if you like that look that's fine but i like for mine to look like they're hugging the pillow just a bit i want them to like fit fit so the pillows are actually 24 by 24 but the covers i buy are 22 by 22 same with my i have some 20 by 20 pillows the size of the covers are 18 by 18. so these are the white ones and then i also got this kind of beigey one. I don't know if you can really see the color come through well on here. But it's like, it's brown, beige if you will. 
it's coming off real light. That might be kind of truer here. But it's, y'all yeah, know I like my neutrals, but this is also to me kind of counts as a pop of color. Uh, right now it's kind of like white on white or cream on white. And I just wanted to bring something a bit warmer um, to the space. So I'll be putting those on probably today, probably in this video, you know. When we went, so that's what I got from Amazon. That had nothing to do with our excursion on uh, Friday. But these do. So, I told you we went to Pottery Barn and Home Goods. Y'all, when we went to Home Goods, we came up on some rugs that I actually liked. Mess my bookie bear in the background. He's singing happy birthday to everybody. Oh, he's singing happy birthday. He sang happy birthday to my granddaddy at church today. So, he's going to be singing happy birthday probably for the next five days. <laughs> So, but we found, you y'all know, I was looking for some rugs to go on in the hallway in the front where we decorated the entryway. Well, I feel like we found something we like. We also wanted something that had a rubberized bottom, which for some reason, many, many, many rugs do not come with a rubberized bottom already. And I haven't, we haven't really liked um, tape because you know it's tape. And um, we like to take stuff up so we can clean the floors. And we also haven't liked the rug pads because they move too. So yeah. they're just a bit more annoying. But rubberized pads are what we've been looking for on a dope rug. And we found these. Yeah. Oh, we found these. Um, this is a runner. This is a shorter runner. But it's got like, it's black and beige. It's basic shapes, you know. So this is one that we found. Let's see if I can spread it out a little bit. So this is a runner we're gonna use. I thought about putting it in the hallway before, like after you leave the entryway, but I think I'm gonna situate it out there. I'll show y'all how I style it, of course. Um, and then we got same style area rugs. The line art is just a bit different. So just got black lines on the ends, same beige color. And this one is a lot like the runner, except the black lines are just a tad thinner, but it's the same size as this other accent rug. So the size of the accent rug is 26 by 45, same with this one. And the size of the runner, I wanna say it's something by 60, 20 by 60. So, I think I'm going to put this runner in front of the console table and the two um, actual rugs. I think I'm going to put one in front of the front door and one in front of our steps because we don't have a rug in front of the steps either. Um, I kind of did a trial look already. I didn't take the tags off just because I wanted to see if I like them. And I think I like it. So, I think I'm going to take the tags off today. These look a lot like the rug I have on the patio. And... I'm happy about it, so. <laughs> Next. All right, next. Pottery Barn. You see the bag? There it is. Anyway, so yeah. Y'all know Pottery Barn is expensive. And to be honest, I didn't go in there to buy anything. You know how you just kind of, I like the trend watch. Um... I used to do it a lot for fashion when I was um, into more, a lot of fashion. Um, I do it for home decor now. So I was just, we were just going in there. I asked Charles if he wanted to go. So, you know, just see what it's looking like. What's new? What new textures are we bringing into this minimalistic vibe? What accents are we bringing into it? Like, where can I get my inspo from? Because I might not spend... $80 or $60 on a throw pillow there, but I might go to Amazon and find me a cool cover or a throw or whatever else. Home goods. Look for the same vibe, you know? But I actually did end up buying something. So, first thing I bought, if you know me, you know I love my first name initial and that obsession kind of only grew when I got a husband with the same first name initial. And we subsequently also named our son with the same first name initial. And that is C. So, 
I just buy things with C's on them if I see them and I like them. So it start. I have a lot of coffee mugs with C's on them. I do have some um, glassware with C's on them. Uh, I even I think I have a throw. Somebody gave me a throw rug, a throw blanket with the C on it. Yeah. Um. So I found these coasters. We don't have any coasters in this house. Well, that is until Friday. So, the coasters are marble. Oh, nice. They even have bumpers at the bottom, like coaster pads. They're marble. They actually have a nice little weight to them. And the C is, um, which, which is right. This looks right. The C is like a wooden accent. So, um, didn't want to leave these there. So, I didn't. We brought them home. There are four coasters. Let's see. Can you see it? Four coasters made of um, marble and wood, and we love them. Oh, excuse me. And the second little thing I bought. What's this candle? <laughs> As if I need it. Oh, I think I already put them away. But I did buy four new candles from Bath and Body Works. Um, it was just four of them. I think I got another tropical colada candle, um, mahogany coconut. Uh, what else did I buy? Cinnamon Paris Cafe. Cinnamon and Paris Cafe which really smell more like a cookie than a latte, but you know, it still have a coffee in the background. And what was the fourth candle I bought? It was a, might've been a coconut sandalwood candle. But yeah, anyway, I brought this candle from um, Pottery Barn because it smelled good. It's a uh, pomegranate and it's a bit different from the scents that I have been buying. Um, I'll show you how it looks. A clean simple candle but it smells really good so yeah they also have this in diffuser oil uh, potpourri and other ways to make your home fragrant so that's my little mini haul um i think in a moment i'm going to it's kind of pointless right now because my son is up from his nap i was going to go ahead and like do the mini redecorate now but you know he plays and he he's gonna want my attention and he just might re-mess it up all over again so i'll probably just do that tonight once he goes down to sleep and i'll record it then in the meantime i want to go on a w-a-l-k with him he know what the word means so i'll be trying to get him too excited right away um but it looks like it's about to rain so i don't know we'll see i don't know we'll see we'll be back <laughs> Hello guys. Hello guys. Hello guys. So welcome back to House of Bookie. Is that your smile? Cheese. Cheese.
so it's clearly another day i have on another outfit last night when i finished putting um the blocks away in well let me rewind because i don't know if i even said that so in case i didn't um I wanted to find a place to store my son's like he has these building blocks that his aunt my sister bought for him for Christmas and we never we haven't put them together since then because I didn't know where I was going to put them once you put them together the way it works is they come compressed in a cardboard box and you have to like put them together but once you make them you don't want to undo them because it's kind of complicated putting the blocks together but it is a clever way to ship them and store them for retail not for in your house but once the blocks are together you just got like all these blocks i've seen them in like daycares and play centers and stuff so i thought they were really cool and they were something nice that um my son and my nieces were able to play with together but since we put them together i was like where are we gonna put them so i went to target and i bought these under those plastic containers that are meant to go under a bed or something the under part of my sofa is pretty like tall so I felt like it would fit and um I was right it's a midget snug but they go they come out in and easy they go in and out easy so after I did that last night and it was I get it was kind of late I just sat on the couch with my husband and we watched tv um and yeah I ended up not doing a little living room refresh but I just finished as you just saw so I'm going to show you what, what I did. Now I gave you a, I showed y'all what I actually bought. And um, I went back upstairs to my closet. I have a couple of decor items in my guest room closet that I just kind of store in there for if I want to use them. And so I was kind of trying to insert like a color in here. And it seems to be this, you know, this nice blue. I've loved it in the past. Like I've had these pillows for um, a minute I had them in another apartment when I was single but I loved them and I had these other throw pillows that I'm going to show you on the bed upstairs so I mean nobody is really in there you never know so I was like this will look good together because this seems to be the two colors that I'm adding into down here so let me just show you what I did all right so I mean it's not drastically different but it's different so this, I put one of the textured large pillows on this side. That's just a a brass like canvas. What not, what's the word? Paper mache vase back there. It's not really metal. It's very much like cardboard sort of. And then, so I did a little moment here. I got the beige pillow. You can see how beige it is a lot better from this angle. I took that uh, gray and white throw off of the couch and added it over here and layered it with the blue so it's a nice little, you know, and then I put the other white pillow behind it because I I thought the leather pillow was okay behind it. Actually, it's faux leather. It's not real leather. That's another pillow cover that I got off Amazon a while back. But um, I I liked it, but I didn't. I didn't think it was giving me um, enough contrast if that's the right word and i like the texture that's coming through here so a couple different things but i feel i still feel like it's nice so this is what the fireplace looks like right now it's just a little bit of a refresh um i probably showed this on ig i don't know if i showed it here but i brought this cube downstairs for my um son's toys i used to have one big bin to just throw out his stuff in but I feel like this might be a bit better. I can keep it a little bit organized and switch the things out when I want to. And he got a couple of new things like this Melissa and Doug sandwich stacker and that those lace and beads and stuff like that. And he really loves that little um, wooden car thing. So just little stuff that we play with together downstairs. This is our family room. So it's not going to all look aesthetic as we like to say. And yeah, that's just his little pottery barn chair. It moves all throughout the living room all the time. Okay, so and then to the couch. So you'll see some extra pillows. The couch comes with these gray pillows. And I had before I had a 
ivory pillow added here this is the pillow this is actually a throw pillow it's not just a cover but i had it on the bed upstairs and it gets bedroom that's what i was talking about but it's that like icy blue type color kind of a similar color as to this throw so i thought it would be a good moment to pull it in on the couch too just to kind of bring the room together and so i put that pillow here and i added the other smaller beige pillow here left this corner here decided to add the throws here those won't just stay right there but they just kind of i threw them over there but i actually use the throws and so does my husband and so does my son and then i added the other blue pillow on this end and i kept that um we'll call it vegan leather because it's not real leather cover covered pillow here because i still feel like it kind of goes with this this beige thing so different texture different fabric but still bringing that color family together um and that's it so yeah not too much not too much let me find my light so yeah not too much let me sit down so i can take advantage of my new backdrop it's cute. I have to keep that in mind for what I'm wearing. So, yeah, guys. I think that's going to be the... Oh, one more thing. <laughs> so, yeah. Those are the containers I was talking about. And a pair of my husband's shoes. But that, I just stuck those building blocks. So, I don't have to figure out what closet I'm going to shove those in. When they're ready to play, we'll just pull them out. Alright. For real this time. I am going to end this video here. I hope you guys got some type of enjoyment out of this. Um, make sure you like this video. Comment. Tell me what you think of my little mini refresh. The little color scheme that we got going on. Um, let me know if you have any questions, comments, opinions. Let's just talk. I like to talk. Don't be afraid of the comments. Um, and subscribe to the channel. Um, just to see what we're going to do next. Um, yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.